Good evening, YouTubers around the world. Today, I'm going to prove that the current theory of how the Earth orbits the Sun is false. And that they are saying that the world is flat when indeed we know the world is round. Okay, this is the Earth. And the pencil is sticking through it, so I can show it spinning. This is the sun. Now the current theory is that Earth and the other planets orbit, orbit the sun, rotating like this, in an orbital plane around the sun, and that see on top of it, we can see underneath it. That is the theory. And to allocate for winter and summer, they say, oh, it's orbiting at an angle. And when it's leaning towards the sun like this, it's summer in the northern hemisphere. When it's here, it's springtime. And when it's here, it's somewhere in the southern hemisphere. And when it's here, it's autumn in the northern hemisphere. Around again. Now that's, you know, possible. But I don't think it's likely. I mean, why would the Earth lean like this towards the sun? and then, you know, stay in this position. Why wouldn't it constantly lean in towards the sun? You know, being the heavy thing around. Oh, and they say this wobbles to allow for the discrepancies in the angle of the Earth compared to the sun. Okay, and as I've mentioned on uh, YouTube videos before, and it's not I didn't come up with the theory, it was somebody else, and as soon as I heard it though, yeah, wow, you know, that is, uh, I think I heard it first from Cliff High. And basically, well, wh the way he described it was like the Earth does this behind the sun. But it's not that. The sun is hurtling round the galaxy at some unknown speed. But there's huge distances involved and it's probably very fast. Not that it matters too much because there's not much air, res there's, well, there's no air resistance in space. There's a few comets and comets and things. And as I've shown before on videos, as, right, so the sun is hurtling around the galaxy, let's say it's going this way, okay? And because of that, anything that it meets in that space, you know, it might be comets, might be whatever. The front of the sun is taking the full load. Right, now this is how I say the Earth orbits the sun. It's behind the sun. At a particular angle from the sun. And it orbits like this. Spring, the whole world gets an equal 12 hours sun, 12 hours night. Winter for the northern hemisphere. As you can see, the earth pointing straight up is getting the sun on the bottom of it. Okay? So as it spins around the southern hemisphere, it's getting a lot more light than the northern hemisphere. That's where we are now. We're sort of coming off it. Sorry, spring for the northern hemisphere. Summer for the northern hemisphere. And over again. Now, where's what's my proof? My proof is this. They say it's going round like this, leaning one particular way as it goes round, and that there's a wobble here. 
Well, I say there's not a wobble here. What there is here is orbit <laughs> per perbation, you know, an orbit wobbling, okay? So there's some object further down here. So as the Earth's coming round, it's getting dragged slightly towards that other object. And it's perturbing, perturbing the orbit. And all the planets in the solar system have been perturbed. And it's been coming from down there. It might be coming from there, you see. If it's coming in front of the sun, we're not going to see it because we're behind the sun. And the sun's so bright, you know, we're not, we can't see right behind the sun. Right in front of the sun not past it, not through all the shit round the sun. You don't see much. You only see objects in front. So, uh, yeah, it's an atrocity that someone like me can demonstrate this, yet scientists, astronomers all over the world, what, they haven't considered this? Because it makes a lot more sense it puts it in in the galaxy, whereas all the orbit diagrams, solar system doesn't do that. And I had another thought, and this might be wrong, I haven't worked it out, but Earth's going to orbit like this. Now Mercury, because it's closer, will orbit like this. And Venus. And the outer planets, they'll be even more perturbed. And we see that on, we can see that as well, because you know, you can see Saturn quite high up in the sky. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means it's not on the orbital plane. And anyway, we know they're not on the orbital plane. You know, it's not so even. And that's how it works. And what else was I going to say? I can't remember. So that will do for today. Thanks. Bye.